How are you doing, YouTubers? Dre Crawford here, Recovery One Drones. Uh, just came over some information this uh, weekend, and I'm going to put those links in the description of this video that, uh, that's very crucial and critical to uh, the upcoming remote ID. I watched a video by uh, Greg at Pilot Institute. If you're not uh, a, uh, we call a fan or whatever, a follower of that site, you need to be. Greg went over some very detailed information on the FAA's guidelines on using remote ID. Uh, come to find out they're going to be using the, uh, the flight controller serial number as your remote ID number. Let me say that again. They will be using your flight controller serial number as your remote ID number. So what that means is if you have a compatible uh, device that's on the uh, co compliance list of the FAA. You can get that list at the uh, dr uh, dronezone.doc.gov uh, site and see if your drone is on the compatibility list. It will let you know uh, if your drone is remote ID compatible. Now even with the other drones that are not on that list, it, uh, Gray goes over the information how you can uh, type in the information manually once you get either a a, um, a remote ID device. I don't want to mention the name of any certain devices, but once you get a device, he covers that. Also, another good tip is that Greg covers uh, those of you at the manly input if you're using the original smart controller, like I have here, that goes to my... Uh, uh, DJI uh, Mavic Enterprise Advance. Uh, I use the older controller, so this controller does not give me the full uh, flight controller number. So he talks about the ID uh, sequence of that number, and DJI, Autel, and some other brands have a four digit, four or five digit identification number that needs to go in front of the flight control number that you'll need to type in. So I encourage you to go to that, go to that uh, link that we'll put in the description to get that information. The second video I watched the other day, I think it was yesterday, was a, a Ken Heron video. Uh, and Ken was out with a friend of his testing uh, two of the, uh, uh, I would say, more popular known uh, devices out there, one by Drone Tag and another one by Blue Dot. Uh, both of them are remote ID approved by the FAA. And they have different type of ways that you need to log into these devices. So uh, if you're looking at trying to buy something from Drone Tag or possibly Blue Dot, uh, you might want to look at that video. I also will put that link in the description below. So those are two videos I would highly recommend that you check out and uh, may uh, be of importance to you and the drones that you may have. Once again, this is Dre, Recover One Drones. And like I always say, Hang on, enjoy the ride, and please subscribe. Drop a few comments. Appreciate it. Thank you.